The admin app for Hitachi Content Intelligence, or HCI, is used by administrators to manage and monitor your content intelligence system. Today, we will learn how instances, services, jobs, events, plugins, security, and system management all come together using the admin app UI. First, log into the admin app. Let's get started with the dashboard tab. It has three panels instances, services, and jobs. The color green indicates that the status of the app is healthy. The colors orange or red indicate a problem. The instances pane shows the number of nodes in the cluster. This particular cluster is a single node cluster. Clicking on an instance will show what services are running. Every individual service has its own dashboard. There are high level services, system level services, and jobs. The services pane shows the cumulative usage of CPU, memory, and disk usage across the entire cluster. Clicking on a service tells you its location and allows you to further configure it. The Jobs pane shows detailed information around jobs, which are the execution construct of a workflow. Every workflow that is running, paused, idle, or completed will have a job listed after a workflow is run for the first time. Jobs can be configured, assigned to nodes, and their assigned schedules from within the Workflow Designer app can be viewed. The events pane lists events, which are a listing of anything that occurs on your system. You'll see authentication events, task events, and workflow events. Any function performed by the system will trigger an event. The configuration pane displays all of the administrative settings that can be configured on your system. It contains various options, such as plugins and security. Plugins can be packaged into bundles and uploaded, downloaded, or removed. To connect to a brand new data source without a pre-built data connector, a plugin can be constructed for it. The security option contains all the configuration information for logging into the system. It is here where you can configure a new identity provider. Content Intelligence supports a variety of identity providers such as Active Directory and OpenLDAP. You can also assign roles and groups. For this example, our user has created a role called Demo. A role identifies what sets of APIs or what functions and capabilities a user can access. For this role to have admin app privileges, select all the admin APIs. Everything that Content Intelligence does is executed by an API. When you are finished, click Create. Your new role is ready to be assigned. Working in tandem with roles, groups allow you to specify which roles its members have and what index collections they can access. They are defined by your organization's identity providers. For this example, our user has created a group called Demo. This group will be used to associate any user contained within it to the demo role. In the selected column, toggle the switch for the demo role. Anyone listed in the demo group can now access the admin app. The certificates option is used for authentication, data integrity, and data privacy. Content Intelligence manages two types of certificates, server and client. The server certificate is used to identify the HCI cluster while client certificates are ones that HCI uses when it connects to other systems. You can also update your system certificates, upload new certificates, or generate certificate signing requests. The notifications option offers three kinds of external notifications. When specific events are triggered, these notifiers send log messages to your email server, syslog server, or SNMP trap receiver. The license option is where you can upload a new license or check the status of your current license. Every HCI cluster has a unique system ID. 
This is how licenses are tracked. For this example, our user has a perpetual license, which means that it never expires. The Packages option is where you can export a package. You can choose to export the entire system configuration or just parts of it. You can also choose to export all the custom plugin bundles or just a subset of them. You can also choose which admin app components are included. All information can be downloaded as a package and uploaded onto a new cluster to expedite its setup or be saved as a backup in the event of a system failure. Lastly, the update option catalogs the history of upgrades made to your cluster. From here, you can upload the latest package to update your copy of Content Intelligence.